Today, we're going to be taking a look at The Emperor from Return of the Jedi Vintage Collection. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Solo 8, and today I'm back with another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. Yesterday I reviewed IG-11 and all I found was him and Lando on the pegs and I went back to the same store tonight and I found somehow Palpatine has returned. But as you can see, yeah, I found Palpatine. Well, the Emperor from Star Wars The Return of the Jedi. The card back was absolutely epic. When I saw this on the pegs, I, it just blew my mind. Maybe they're putting out like half a case per night or something like that. I'm not sure, but this card is absolutely epic. Let me show you a close-up. Obviously, it is the scene from the throne room of the final battle in Return of the Jedi. But look at him in package, man. How crazy cool is that? Look at that face mold. What is going on? Absolutely insane. And then it comes with some amazing lightning hands in the back. Check that out. I'm absolutely stoked. On the back of the card, the Emperor is VC200. And you can see the way that he came in. And for some reason, yeah, they still didn't have Tebow. So maybe they'll have Tebow tomorrow. I'm not too sure. But without further ado, thanks for checking out today's video. And let's open up the Emperor from Return of the Jedi Vintage Collection. And let's take a closer look. Boom! Palpatine's out of the package. As you see, he does come with two lightning hands, which look absolutely sick. He does come with this cane also, which I already have in his hands. And of course, you have the plastic hoodie, which I had doubts on when I seen the proto shots of these. Really didn't think he would look that cool, but now actually getting him in hand, I am stoked. So let's put Palpatine in a couple poses and let's see what this guy can do. And here's Palpatine just with his hands out saying, you will learn, young Skywalker. I can see a lot of epic photography going on with this guy. Let's put them lightning hands on him. Here's a quick little pose. Of course, I just had to do with the lightning hands and Vader watching him from the side. And he's about to give Vader his redemption. But overall, this figure is awesome, man. I can't wait to see you guys' photography out there. Look how clear that lightning is. It just looks sweet. You can see the Emperor's face and his teeth and the red around his eyes and his hands with the lightning coming out. Absolutely epic. Top notch. Good job, Hasbro. And I love how the gowns aren't all ripped and shredded like Darth Maul's. Let's pull him up closer. See here, this is his staff that he comes with. It does fit in his hand, and it helps him stand pretty well on the turntable, as you saw. But you can see the detail in that. It looks pretty sweet. This is pretty stiff. I know a lot of people ask me uh, if IG was stiff or flimsy. He's definitely not like a battle droid, where it's very cheap feeling. These hands, the only problem with these is there there is no hinges in them. But look at the detail on that hand. Looks absolutely sick. And then here is his other hand. Looks sweet, great detail, no hinges, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Palpatine himself, look at this face. Look at that, look at the teeth. But the detail looks fantastic. Look at that, let me lift it just a little bit so you guys can see. But yeah, what a fantastic job, look at the eyes. Easily one of the best face sculpts so far. I wonder if it comes off pretty easy. Oh, it does. Cool. It would have been cool if it came with like a robe. But look at that. Insanity. Yeah, if they had like a robe that you can toss over his head, I think would have been cooler. But the plastic still looks cool. While we're here, we'll check out the head tilt. You can see, yeah, it looks like he's just on a ball in there. We'll pop right off. But yeah, that is fantastic. Even down to the neck detail. But look at that. Good job. Look at that little mark on the cheek. I wonder if that's like meant to be there or what. Uh, the hands, check these out. Beautiful transparent force lightning. And you can see little scars on his hand. Look at that. Just crazy good. Again, there's just a swivel in there. Here's a look at his other hand. Man, those just look like some really, really worn Sith hands. 
And these are pretty stiff, surprisingly, also. Now, the robe, it just opens up right here in the middle. There's a stitch right here in the arm. It does pop down just a little bit. Slides up to show you underneath. And the gown does move out of the way pretty well too, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and take it off after I show you the back. Wraps around him all the way down to his feet really, really good. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna pop his hands off, put his other ones back in, which that's pretty easy to do. And we're gonna go ahead and take off this robe. And see how he looks underneath. So here is Palpatine without his robe. Almost looks like Snoke, doesn't it? Just crazy, crazy cool, but really nice hinges in those arms. Check that out. Perfect rotation single jointed elbows and just swivels in the wrists there is a twist and there's no movement going back and forth in there but yeah just a twist nice rubber belt you can see palpatine's pants underneath and he's got the new leg joints oh no he's got the old school leg joints so he's got the old five poa leg joints no swivel cut nice knee very minor hinge in the boot nice detail in the boots and a swivel down in the boot if you want to see ig11 click on one of the videos up on the screen and until the next time i'll see you guys in the next video